Hello again, vinyl community. Matt here again. I uh, have some more vinyl pickups right here. Uh, these were all from Kerry Carter 1976. It's an, a UK eBay seller that I've mentioned a number of times. Um, I, I haven't bought as much from him lately. Like the, uh, Earlier last year I was buying a lot of stuff, like dozens of records at a time, um, occasionally. Um, for the most part now, when he lists, he, he lists like thousands of items at one time, then he goes dark for a couple of weeks and then he lists a few more thousand and I guess he's picking all of these records up in big batches. Um, but now it's sort of sporadic, you know, I'll have a look at what he's got, but I'm actually more likely now to search specifically for a few things and see if he has it rather than go through and spend hours looking at all the items that he has. It's just, uh, it's too, uh, too time consuming. Um, and particularly, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm kind of trying to focus more on quality over quantity. And so I'm being pickier about, um, about what I am buying. So I have, uh, let's see, a couple of seven inch singles, we got a, got a couple of 12 inch singles, a couple of albums. Let's start off with the seven inch singles. Um, the Love Affair, Everlasting Love. This is a, uh, a reprint or a reissue, I should say, on the, uh, one of my favorite labels of all time, the seventies orange and yellow CBS label. I've always liked this. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, this was originally released in 1967. It was a UK number one hit. So uh, I think it's been covered a number of times. Um, but yeah, this is the original Love Affair, Everlasting Love. And I also picked up uh, Manfred Mann. This is like a, an EP of sorts. Um, the song that I bought it for is Ha Ha Said the Clown, um, which is a, a song that my, my parents had the seven inch single of when I was a kid. I always liked it, always wanted to get it again. And uh, but it also this EP also contains uh, Mighty Quinn. And then on, on the B side, we have uh, Semi Detached Sub Suburban Mr. James and a B side that's the name of the track. Uh, has somebody's initials on the back, but whatever, it's okay. On the blue Phillips label right here. And yeah, although it still spins at 45 despite having two tracks on each side, which is uh kind of curious. I do have a Greatest Hits album of Manfred Mann, uh, but it does not include Ha Ha Set the Clowns, that's why I, why I grabbed that. Um, now let's do the uh, let's do the 12 inch singles, there's a couple of these. Um, first up is JX, Son of a Gun. Uh, pretty big hit in the UK in 94 I think, let me see if the date's on here. Yeah, 94. It's a, yeah, it's a dance yeah, dance track. Um, so not too much to say about it, I guess. And uh, this next one, this is a this is this is a great song. Fascinating rhythm by Bassomatic. First of all, I love the artwork. Look at that. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, now a little bit of story here. Um, I I I'd ordered this from Kerry Carter, nineteen seventy six. Oh, months ago, months ago. And when I got it, it had the wrong record in here, or or it was beat up. I think I think it was the wrong record. I've had that happen a few times with him. It it's not that big of a deal. You might think it is, but he he very clearly advertises his auctions as being um, you know an as is auction. That he has so many records he can't check them all, and they're cheap and it's free worldwide shipping. So that's kind of the chance you're taking. Uh, but 90% of the items I get from him, there's no problem. I say him, it could be a her, Kerry. Could be a male or a female, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this so this was one that, and so I, I kept the sleeve thinking, okay, I'm going to keep an eye out for this. And, and sure enough, he listed it again. And I, I won the auction. And the copy that I got, um, the record was fine, but the... Uh, the sleeve was all beat up, so <laughs> that turned out to be uh, kind of fortunate that I kept this sleeve because the sleeve's pretty nice. So uh, this was released in 1990. Um, I'm trying to think what kind of music it is. It's uh, you'd have to listen to it. I don't know. It's um, it's not really dance. It's it's got hip hop and sort of dance and and uh, house elements to it. But anyway, it, it's a it's a pretty slow song as well kind of um anyway i also picked up a couple of albums first one don't laugh oh you can laugh it's all right 
<laughs> Cliff Richard, 40 golden grades. Um, uh, Kerry Carter has listed this for sale or copies of this for sale a number of times. And I've bid on it a couple of times before and I've always lost. This time I finally won one. And this is in really nice shape. Look at that. I really like the cover as well. That's an, you know, you've got an outline of his face here with the record. Same thing on the back. Uh, it's on the EMI label. And it contains uh, all of his hits up until, I think, the mid to late 70s. When did this come out? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's open it up. We can have a look. Uh, it's a gatefold. Um, here's the, uh, the center right there. Um, yeah. I've always liked that label. I don't know why. Objectively, it's not nothing to really look at, but... I guess because I grew up with a lot of records having the sleep. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Um, it doesn't say when this compilation came out, but uh, yeah. Anyway, the the, la the the last song on here is um, "My Kind of Life," which was released in '77. So it goes up till then. I have another album of his called "Private Collection," which uh, goes from '79 to '88, right at the end of '88. So we pretty much got Cliff Richard covered. <laughs> and he was, uh, he, you consider the career that he's had, it's maybe some people in the U.S. aren't so familiar with him, although he has had a few hits in the U.S. Um, uh, we Don't Talk Anymore was a hit here. And I think Devil Woman was as well in the 70s. But he, he, he had a number one record for s six consecutive decades, I think it was, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. He, he had a number one record in every decade. But that's crazy. I mean, the guy's like 80 now or something, but um, the, the, just the longevity is kind of astonishing. Anyway, and then uh, finally, I was super pleased to win this one. I, I think this is another one that I bid on previously, and, and I was outbid. Um, well, let me show it to you. The Greatest Hits of House. Now, this is a, uh, a pretty early house music compilation. It was released in 88. Um... You know, so House was kind of in its infancy back then. And House really started only a couple of years before this, you know, House music as it came to be anyway. What's interesting about this is that it's a, it's a two-disc two set, but it's, it's grouped into four different themes. Each side has a different theme. So side one is UK House. Side two is uh, The Sound of Underground London. Side three is US House music. And side four is Deep House um, whatever that is, but, uh, so yeah, we've got like Yaz, the Beatmasters, S Express, Bomb the Bass, Cold Cut, um, Hit House, uh, on the US one we have the Jungle Brothers, Marshall Jefferson, Farley Jack Master Funk, uh, the Todd Terry Project, Rays, and various other ones, and I, I was pleased to get this because I had this as a kid. And I, you know, I was like nine years old when this came out, and I, I remember having it. And so I, I had, uh, I've been keeping my eye on it. It's in really nice condition too, super nice condition. Right, that's it, guys. Um, thank you as always for watching. Always appreciate everybody's comments. Uh, hit the button below if you'd like to subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching as always, and until next time, bye bye.